the plate. I guess it's why they call it God's country. Miss you, Shannon. See you soon. Well, I'm on Farm Lake. I just took off from around that point. And I'm out here. Alone. No offense, Shannon, but I could get used to this. Okay, so I had to record this. I'm paddling along this beautiful little area. I look down and there he is. I don't know how big he was, but he was big. Pike, uh, big. Uh, I've got chills because I'm so excited for where, we're about to, where I'm about to go. We, as an adventure. Uh, I'm looking forward to the fishing and I think I'm gonna do great just by seeing all of the fish that I've seen around here so far. It's gonna be a good time. Anywho, I'll keep you updated. If I see anything, I'll definitely try to point it out. First portage. Figured I'd, uh, rather than try to be a hero, it's only 90 meters. I think I'll just single carry. See what I have for frou-frou. Clean that up for the 690 that I'm going on in probably an hour or so try and do everything in a solo carry then maybe get the canoe ready uh, right after I get to this launch so I can just get out and go uh, I commented on the amount of pike I saw on the last lake uh, I probably saw a dozen unreal I uh, met a fellow solo tripper I uh, didn't catch his name but he uh, he was just on the lake I'm headed to booth and he only caught one pike. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to do better. Anywho, that was the portage. And this is Kitty Lake. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Algonquin's gorgeous, but that just gives me chills. Look at the color. All right, so I'm back to get the canoe. Figured out this... Uh, Fuck, I can't remember the name of it. But he said it at the store and I thought he was talking about the paddle. So I know how to canoe. I just know the names. The gunnel. That's it. The gunnel. Yeah, figured that out. Level. Yeah, baby. Anywho. Too excited for this shit. I think I ran back to the canoe just so I could get going again. I love this place. Shannon, I know. I'll shut up. So this is why I pull line out when I see it in the water. Sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. It's not in the best shape, but you know what? That getting that line out of the water was probably my main priority. Getting a lure for free, I can't complain about that. Oh, with a leader, look at that. Sweet. Going in the kit. Well, made it to the second portage. This only says 500 on the map, or on the yellow tag. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent trail. I'm a little tired. Probably about three quarters of the way done. Just remembered I wanted to do a blog before I went any further. So I can remember how tired I am. I didn't quite set the canoe up the way I wanted to, but it's getting me through. Just gotta figure out the back. It's resting on my, my seat. So it's making it a little difficult to get the 
front end of the canoe up. So I'm kind of wasting energy fighting it, but I figure it's only 500 meters. I'm gonna bang this out and then I'm on my lake. Start fishing for probably lunch. Yeah, we'll start with lunch. Whatever I catch, I'm eating it. See you soon. Okay, so I made it. 500, 550, so it says. Booth Lake, 500 meters, 550, sorry. Uh, yeah, gorgeous. Little dam I'm probably gonna go back and take a look at. Maybe I'll uh, show you guys. And then uh, I can pretty much load up on my fishing gear now and uh, start trolling. If I catch something, I catch something until I find the spot I want to call my home for the next two days. Still debating on whether I do one, one night on two different spots or if I just stay put and just fish. But knowing me, I'll probably be uh, moving spots so I can get a, more out of this. This doesn't happen every day, so. Gorgy little spot, little dam. Looks like it could be fun fishing, but I wouldn't want to catch anything and try to bring it up. Fuck that. Looks like a little good little brookie spot, but from what I understand, I don't know if there's brookies in this part, but could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think on Booth Lake. Well, 12.30, just got to my first site. I'm probably gonna stay here. Uh, so, just so if you haven't been paying attention, I'm on Booth Lake. And uh, when you look at the map, I'm right there. In that little spot beside McDougal's. Most of these spots were taken. And from what I understand, there's only like three or four people supposed to be staying on this lake. So uh, I think it's booking up pretty quick. So I'm staying right there because then I can travel over into this big bay and possibly down into here. That's where I want to go. But we'll see. We will see. There's lots to uh, explore and uh, I have two days to do it in. So um, I think I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to set up camp. Make sure people know that I'm here because a couple of the spots that I rolled up on, I didn't know that was anyone there until it was pretty much too late. So turn around and away I go. Um, I'm either hearing the odd person or it's a really weird loon. Uh, either way, talk to you soon. Okay, so I haven't left yet. I'm actually going to give you a little tour. This place looks pretty sweet. Looks like uh, who's ever been here has really put some time and effort into this place. Uh, it's probably one of the better, better places that I've been to. Jeez. We even got a nice cutting board over here for filleting fish. Yeah, this is definitely the homestead. Most definitely. So, just time to find a flat spot right there. Have my fire pit. Good spot. Well, it's one o'clock. I got the tent set up. I got all my shit out. Oh, there's what I brought for alcoholic beverages. I'm going to try not to drink it all, but you never know. It's five o'clock somewhere anyway, so I might have to tap into that pretty quick. Uh, past that, we're good to go. I'm going to chop some wood, pour me some water, and then uh, get out fishing. And I uh, hope I can catch my dinner, because I'm getting hungry. Adam, take this moment, man. Don't forget. Over there are some big old pike, and they like the top water. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for the fight, little buddy. Day one, it's about 7.30. Uh, I caught a, about a five or a six pounder. He was fucking great fight. I live released him with the pliers, too big for one person to eat. I uh, started making my way home. I was going to come home and actually uh, or get back to the campsite here and take a break for a bit. And I was about, I don't know, 500 meters out. Straight out by that island there in between the two islands. Bammo. Got myself 
I don't know, it looks like about a three pounder. I got the scale here, so I'll give it away. Be right back. So now uh, you can see that. We have rice with too much water and a pike. There we go. There we go. All to myself. Seasoned and ready to go. I'll let you know how it is. Totally forgot to uh, take a video of this, but I've I've nailed like probably half that fish. There's like half to go. I did not a bad job flaying some bones, but I'm uh, proud for my first one. Kind of butchered it a little bit here and there, but made it work. I'm going to practice again tomorrow. Well, you can't see me very well. There we go. I just want to say epic first night. Oh, moon isn't out right now, so the stars are just lit right up. It's unbelievable. I wish I could show you, but my phone's uh, not taking very good photos for that kind of stuff. But unbelievable. It's calm. Oh, like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to brag, but probably an epic day as far as I'm concerned. It couldn't have gone any better. Oh, love it. Looking forward to do this again next year for sure. Yeah, Shannon, you can come. But you're bringing your own boat. Morning. It's just after eight o'clock. Second one back to back. I think I know where I'm getting my dinner from tonight. These guys are hungry. This guy's about three, four pounds. Not big, not small. Beautiful. Well, lunch is served. Now I just gotta clean them. Cooking up the old pike on the, on the uh, fire now. It's about 90% boneless. I got a couple pieces in there. I know I have bones, but I'm not going to complain. That's a pretty good meal right there. I think I'll just have fish this afternoon for lunch. Hey, uh, make sure you're on. Yeah, you're on. Um, so I was walking through the water here looking for driftwood along the bank rather than having to go into the bush and uh, I stumbled upon this. So all the little striations and shit, right? Like, it's so cool. And then like that's not even the grain because that's the grain of the stone how it was formed so that's like glacier run but i also noticed it's like uber flat like very neat so cool find back to finding uh driftwood they grow them big up here up north he's like seriously almost the size of my fist frog legs anyone I was just gonna do rice tonight. Just kind of getting going here. Back that up. I decided while I was waiting for the rice to do its thing, I'd get myself a little bass. Just a smallie, smallmouth bass, but perfect for one person. I'm not sharing, so we'll see what we can do. So I got them all cleaned up. He's on the fire as we speak. That's uh, caught in less than, filleted in less than five minutes and on the fire. Now that is fresh. And my rice, yeah, still going strong, almost done.
and then I'll add the shit. Get my munch on. Dinner's ready. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Some smallmouth bass and rice, broccoli. It's a nice burning fire right there. Well, day three packed up and ready to go left the site in pretty good order I'd hope I've already done my pre-check so there shouldn't be anything lying around and fires completely out and I've saved them some wood saved them some stuff that's it that's all